Hey guys, so today's video is a updated makeup slash collection storage video. Um, I decided to move my desk instead of being in the middle of the room to over by the window there so that the um, lighting was better for filming. And so for now I like this setup because it's right by the window so I can kind of look out the window as I'm doing my makeup and the sun comes in right there and so it provides a very good natural lighting. Um, <clears throat> Excuse my voice again, I'm still very sick, but um, I don't have all of my makeup here. It's most of it, but I'm now getting to the point where I have so much I don't have enough room to store it. So I am going to hopefully someday soon be picking up one of those um, like rolling cart bin things. Um, but anyways, I'm going to give you kind of a quick like sweep over everything and then I'll go through everything individually. And so this is the top of my desk as you can see here. Um, I have my, um, some of my bins here with some of my makeup because I don't have a drawer to store those in. Some stuff I use every day, and then this is actually what I hold my, um, uh, phone in when I film. And then I have some more stuff over here, and then I have one, two, and three drawers there. Um, and so we're going to start, um, over on the side here and then work our way down. So this bin here has all of my uh, makeup that I haven't used yet. Anything that I brand new pick up from the drugstore and haven't used yet um, or I'm still reviewing or swatching, I will put in here. And so I picked up two things yesterday. I picked up this Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder um, and a Rimmel Nude um, lipstick. And then I have two of the Color Whispers, which I picked up. Um, this one is orange, something or other orange attitude, I think. And then this one is um, Some Like It Taupe. Um, and so I have those, which I'm reviewing. And then I have two of the balm stains, which I have only really kind of tried once, and so I'm still trying those out. And then these are three of those Fergie things that I haven't worn yet. Um, and then I have a Wet n Wild eyeshadow, um, a nail polish from, I think this is from, uh, I think it's the Gwen Stefani collection, maybe? Um... Anyways, there's a matte one there, and then I picked up a new one of these Revlon ones, and then some Argan Oil that I'm trying out. And then in the bin behind it here, I have all of my, anything that is a lip product that comes in a stick or crayon form. Um, and so I have all of those in there. I have some Stila, um, L'Oreal, uh, Jordana, um, some more Stila, um, let's see. And I think, I think that's it in there. And then I have like a random mark one and then be a bombshell. But anything that's like that sticker crayon formula. And then in the morning I have the three kind of things I use. Um, these two I use every day, this not so much. I have my simple um, toner to help with like my pores and stuff in the morning. And then I have my clean and clear. This is my absolute favorite moisturizer of all time. Um, and then I have just a hand lotion here. This is one I got in an Ipsy bag, which I'm probably never going to run out of. Um, and I use that in my hands, or on my hands if they're feeling really dry in the morning. And then I have the little mirror that I use. Um, this box back here holds all of my eyelash kind of um, products. It holds any of the extras in there, along with my tweezers and glue. And then, um, I don't want to move it all, but there's a little drawer that pulls out that I have all the little inserts in. And then I just have this... Um, little care jar that has my um, cotton pads in it and then this thing right here is my all of my eyeliner so anything that is a liquid pencil or otherwise like eyeliner um, is in that bin there so I have a collection from everything from uh, L'Oreal to CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, Rimmel, pretty much everything from the drugstore and then again that's what I hold my phone in and then back here I have all of my blushes these are all um, e.l.f. blushes. I have some hard candy ones. I have my NYC Sunny Bronzer, Pixie. Um, I think this might be a, what is this? This is a teen tone. I got this in a birch box, or not a birch box, a um, Beauty Army back when I got that. Two more hard candy ones, a Mary Kay one. This is Sunny Kashuk. It's a um, like highlighting bronzer kind of thing. And then I have that bombshell one stick. And then in the bins back here, I have all of my brushes. And so I got these two organizers from Target. Um, they were just a dollar a piece in like that dollar section, um, usually up by the front of the store. And then I have my bigger face brushes, smaller face brushes, and then brushes I don't use very much. 
Um, and then I have a little reused Bath and Body Works um, candle jar full of Q-tips. Um, and then I have this little thing here, which for some reason my candle burned weird and part of it fell and sunk in there. And so, um, but this is my favorite candle of all time ever. And this is the marshmallow fireside candle. Um, and then in this little thing here, I loved this thing. I bought it because it says keep calm and eat cupcakes on it. And it was this little tray and it was pink and it was like five bucks. And I told my husband, I was like, I have to buy this. And so on here, I have all of my everyday or favorite makeup, um, like of all time that I use and so I have my elf prism eyeshadow palette which I use all the time these two are almost empty and so I'm trying to use them up um, my watch and my ring that I wear every day or not a watch but my fitness tracker um, I have this Boots Botanics um, lip gloss which I originally hated but now I love um, my favorite one of my favorite lip glosses of all time which is my Mary Kay one two of these L'Oreal ones because they're my favorite. This I'm trying to use up and then a very awesome everyday eyeshadow which is this Nutty by Wet n Wild. Um, a lip balm tint which I really enjoy and then this Maybelline blush which I've really been liking and then I have these wipes here because I use the wipes here every day. Um, and so now getting on to the drawers. In the top drawer here I have in the first part I have this bin which is full of all of my foundations. Um, I have some CoverGirl here, e.l.f., um, <clears throat> Revlon, another CoverGirl, Rimmel BB Cream, the Rimmel Stay Matte, the Garnier, there's a Wet n Wild one in there. I have the Maybelline Stick one, um, <clears throat> and then another Revlon Color Stay. And then this one holds all of my powder, so I have my Nearly Naked powder, my Stay Matte powder, um, a Shine Control powder from Neutrogena, my personal blend one, and then the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. Even though it's not a powder, it doesn't fit in there, and it's a good size, so I stuck it in there. And then my powder brush that I use, which is my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Um, <clears throat> and then in the next drawer, I have all of my concealers. And so I have my um, Givenchy Concealer, which is my favorite. Um, I have a Rimmel one, Sonia Kashuk. Um, let's see, Maybelline, Revlon, the Maybelline Fit Me, and then a CoverGirl one. And then in the very back, I have kind of a mascara obsession, and so I have a lot of mascaras in there. But I have my um, CoverGirl um, Bombshell one, a L'Oreal Voluminous, I have the Flamed Out Mascara in here, um, the CoverGirl Club Crusher, I have this Jordana Fabulash, which I bought an extra of, my Revlon Lash Potion Mascara, which I'm actually going to probably be using this one next. Um, another Voluminous because I like it so much. Um, an extra of the Fabulash. And then I think down here I have like a higher end one. This is my, um, I think this is my Elizabeth Arden, yeah. My Elizabeth Arden Mascara. And then I have, I think that's it in there. So I have a, a mascara obsession, so. And then in this basket is all of my primer. So I have my e.l.f. Um, face primer here. I have um, two or three of these Too Faced ones. I kept getting them in my Sephora whenever time I ordered those. Um, I have an e.l.f. eyelid one. I have this primer, which is actually the Monistat that I use as a primer. I'll do a whole video on that if you guys would like. Um, let's see. What is this one? I think this is a Lime Crime, the new formula. So I have the new formula of the Lime Crime. I still have one of the old formulas of the Lime Crime. I have this, which isn't actually a primer, but I use it underneath everything else. And this is this Pond's Luminous Moisture. Um, I do have a Pixi primer here, and then lots more of those Too Faced ones. Um, and then I have this Lip Fix Cream, which is kind of a primer for your lips. And then that is all that I have in that drawer. And so then moving on to the next drawer here, I have all of my lip products. I have kind of a lip product problem, as you can see. I have a lot of lipsticks and lip glosses. I love lip products. Like, if I could only have one product, it would be lip products. And so in this one, I have all of my glosses. I have a Fergie one in here. I have some Rimmel ones. Um, these CoverGirl Wet Slicks, which I really adore these. Um, and then a couple of the NYX High Shine glosses. The Smoochies. This was one of their Hunger Games limited edition ones. Um, let's see what else do I have in here. I have a Revlon one, more of the Wet Slicks. Um, this one, which I think I got in a Beauty Army box, it's it's by the brand Skin. Um, let's see, and then I think those are Maybelline ones and then a couple of Revlon ones over on the side there. 
And then in the middle here, I have two of these e.l.f. things. This is the Makeup Mist and Set, and then that one is the Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, and then in here, I have all of my lipsticks and a couple of glosses that were um, lipstick size, I guess. And so I have these, um, what are these, the Butter Gloss. Um, let's see, I have Maybelline, CoverGirl, Revlon, uh, a couple of Lime Crime ones in there, Milani, um, Elf, Almay, um, pretty much a little bit of everything. And then I have a couple of random ones, like I think I have a random Mary Kay one in there and then like a Benefit one or something like that. And then these drawers in the back, that drawer there is not super organized. It has a lot of miscellaneous things that I don't really know what to do with. I have some Milani eyeshadows. Um, I have a e.l.f. palette. I have my um, sugar pill palette back there. And then a bunch of loose eyeshadows and or glitters. Um, and then I think I have a couple of random other palettes down there too. And then some loose glitter. So this is not really, it's just kind of jumbled up right now. Um, and then this one is all of my smaller um, eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow singles. And so here I have some like... Uh, CoverGirl ones, and I'm already making a mess of this, I just know it. Um, so yeah, I have some CoverGirl ones here, I have some e.l.f., uh, I have an e.l.f. one here, and then I think some Maybelline, some Wet n Wild ones. I'm not going to go through that all super much because it's going to make a mess of it. And then in here I have all of my individual ones, so I have a BH Cosmetics one there, I have, um, this is one of the individual uh, Wet n Wild ones. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is the color tattoo, the L'Oreal Infallibles, I think another color tattoo. This is an Ipsy one by Two Cosmetics, I think. And then this one is a NYX one that I have. Um, and then there's some other kind of random ones in the back. So I think that's pretty much for that it for that one. Um, and so that's pretty much what I have stored in there. And then the very bottom drawer is... Um, my bottom drawer here are products that I have used up um, that I have not yet bought backups of that I want to. And so anything that I've used up that I haven't repurchased yet, I put in here so that I remember to repurchase it. And so when I'm out and about and I'm getting things and I'm like, what do I need to buy? I can look in this drawer and either take it with me or just take a picture or remember to do or to repurchase that one thing. And so there's quite a lot of stuff in there because there are quite a few things that I do need to repurchase. Um, but that's pretty much what that drawer is for. Um, and so that's pretty much it for this. Um, I will do a room tour later. You guys do not even want to see the rest of my room right now. It is not nearly as organized as this is. Um, but I will do a whole room tour once I get some more drawers and organization going. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed um, this part of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.